The Lean Startup by Eric Ries is a book that outlines a methodology for building successful startups in a constantly changing business landscape. The book emphasizes the importance of using a continuous process of experimentation, testing, and learning to improve products and services and maximize value for customers. In this summary, we will explore the key concepts and principles of the Lean Startup in more detail. Chapter 1 Vision The first chapter of the book emphasizes the importance of having a clear vision for your startup. Rice argues that the vision of a startup should be centered around creating value for customers rather than generating profits or revenue. He emphasizes the importance of understanding the needs and desires of your target market in order to create a product or service that truly meets their needs. Rise also stresses the importance of having a shared vision within your startup team and communicating that vision clearly to investors and stakeholders. Chapter 2 Steer The second chapter of the book focuses on the importance of steering your startup in the right direction. Rise argues that many startups fail because they become too focused on executing their initial plan rather than learning and adapting to the needs of their customers. He emphasizes the importance of being flexible and willing to pivot your business model in response to customer feedback and market changes. Rise also discusses the concept of the pivot or persevere decision, where startups must decide whether to continue with their current approach or pivot to a new strategy based on feedback and data. Chapter 3 Accelerate the third chapter of the book discusses the importance of accelerating the feedback loop in your startup. Rise argues that startups should focus on maximizing the speed and frequency of feedback from customers in order to improve their products and services more quickly. He emphasizes the importance of using data and analytics to measure the success of your product and make informed decisions about how to improve it. Rise also discusses the importance of creating a culture of experimentation and continuous learning within your startup team. Chapter 4 Experiment The fourth chapter of the book focuses on the importance of experimentation in the lean startup methodology. Rise argues that startups should embrace experimentation as a way to learn quickly and avoid wasting time and resources on ineffective strategies. He emphasizes the importance of conducting small, low-risk experiments to test hypotheses and validate assumptions about your product or service. Rise also discusses the importance of using metrics to measure the success of your experiments and make informed decisions about how to move forward. Chapter 5 – Leap The fifth chapter of the book discusses the concept of the minimum viable product. MVP. Rise argues that startups should focus on creating an MVP, a version of their product that is minimal but still provides value to customers, as quickly as possible in order to test their assumptions and gather feedback. He emphasizes the importance of being willing to make bold leaps in the development of your product, rather than taking incremental steps. Rise also discusses the concept of validated learning where startups use customer feedback to validate their assumptions and make data-driven decisions about their product development. Chapter 6. Measure The sixth chapter of the book focuses on the importance of measuring progress in your startup. Rise argues that startups should focus on creating actionable metrics that allow them to measure the success of their product and make informed decisions about how to improve it. He emphasizes the importance of using data to drive decision-making, rather than relying on intuition or gut feelings. Rise also discusses the importance of using cohort analysis to measure the retention and engagement of your customer base. Chapter 7 – Pivot The seventh chapter of the book discusses the concept of pivoting in response to customer feedback and market changes. Rise argues that startups should be willing to pivot, 
to change their business model, target market, or product offering if they find that their initial approach is not meeting the needs of their customers. He emphasizes the importance of being willing to let go of sunk costs and past investments in order to pursue a new direction that is more likely to lead to success. Rise also discusses the importance of communicating the pivot to your team, investors, and customers in a clear and transparent manner. Chapter 8. Batch The eighth chapter of the book focuses on the concept of batching work in order to minimize waste and increase efficiency. Rise argues that startups should focus on creating small batches of work that can be completed quickly and tested for effectiveness. He emphasizes the importance of reducing cycle time, the time it takes to go from idea to implementation, in order to increase the speed of innovation and improve product quality. RISE also discusses the importance of creating a culture of continuous improvement within your startup team. Chapter 9. Grow the ninth chapter of the book discusses the importance of sustainable growth in your startup. RISE argues that startups should focus on creating a sustainable business model that allows for long-term growth, rather than focusing solely on short-term gains. He emphasizes the importance of using metrics to measure growth and identify areas for improvement. RISE also discusses the concept of the three engines of growth, the sticky engine, the viral engine, and the paid engine, and how startups can use these engines to drive sustainable growth. Chapter 10, Adapt The tenth and final chapter of the book discusses the importance of adaptation in the face of uncertainty. Rise argues that startups should embrace uncertainty and be willing to adapt their approach as they learn more about their customers and their market. He emphasizes the importance of being agile and responsive in order to stay ahead of the competition. RISE also discusses the importance of building a culture of innovation and continuous learning within your startup team. Conclusion The Lean Startup provides a framework for building successful startups based on continuous experimentation, testing, and learning. The key principles of the Lean Startup focusing on customer value, being flexible and adaptable, and using data to drive decision-making, can help entrepreneurs to maximize their chances of success in today's rapidly changing business environment. By following the Lean Startup methodology, startups can minimize risk and waste, and maximize their chances of creating products and services that truly meet the needs of their customers.